Okay, I'm going to be showing how to uh, import the contacts database into your TYT ND UD380 radio. That's the radio I'm using. This uh, may be very similar to a lot of other ones, but uh, for the purposes of this, this is what I'm using. If you don't already have it, radio.net. Um, ID made, you're definitely going to want to do that um, so that you can even program the rest of the stuff in your radio. Uh, however, once you do, you're going to want to go to database and then find dump files or data dump files. Once you're there, you're going to want to click on the user na.csv and download that. Uh, that is the contacts ID for United States and Canada. Uh, this radio will only hold 120,000 contacts. Um, some of the newer ones hold more, uh, but now there is uh, more than 120,000 contacts in the worldwide database. So uh, for me on this radio, I'm just going to worry about uh, importing the United States and Canada region uh, because this radio will not hold 170,000 worldwide contacts and that number is growing. So once you download that you can verify it in the download folder open up your file explorer go to downloads and there it is. If it is not here wherever you choose to download it will be where you uh, retrieve the file to import so once you have that downloaded, you go over to your TYT software, uh, CPS MDUV380, and you write contacts under Program tab. Click Import, find your file, double click it, and wait. It will import that file into the software. So I'll give it a minute making sure that your radio has already been read uh, which mine has not so I'm going to start this over it's always good to read the, uh, the radio first so read data let that do its thing so that it loads all the data from the radio into the software um, I didn't think about it when I did this prior. However, once that's done, the radio will be in program mode. Go to program, write data, now import again, even though I've already done this. Give it a minute. success. Now we're going to want to write to the radio. Now this takes at least 10 or 15 minutes uh, give or take and you don't want to unplug the radio or mess with the radio during this time. What it's doing is flashing uh, the contacts to the radio. Um, but that's basically it. Shut off your radio, disconnect the USB cable and restart the radio and um, all the USA and Canadian contact IDs should be listed in the radio um, when somebody is in the middle of transmitting uh, it should display that contact ID hope everybody found this informative uh, if you like it I will be doing a lot more walkthroughs uh, and if you have any requests let me know like and subscribe, it sure helps.